things available. And so I know a lot of people are like dry camping um, mm -hmm. because that's what we'll be doing. And you hear dry camping or you hear boondocking and then you think, I can't do that. <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Uh, you friend, you're gonna do that and you're gonna love it. <laughs> so dry camping, for those who may not know, it's just when you bring your own electricity and your water. So if you're owning an RV, you've probably dry camped before or boondock before. If you're gonna rent an RV, um, you will just ask the person that you're renting the RV from to uh, fill up the water tank when they deliver it or before they deliver it rather. And then also make sure you're renting an RV that has a generator so that you can have electricity. And those are the main things to think about when you're renting an RV um and dry docking or you know and then when you are using it um you know just like always with your rvs you'll use your shower water sparingly which is what i always do and i rent a lot because i love <laughs> i love to be in the rv you know so you'll want to keep those same rules in play um as an extra tip what you can do is bring um the trailer with you the dump trailer what do they call that? The cart, the um, the extra tank, uh, if you want, and then you can have your black or gray tanks empty into your extra tank. But that's totally helpful on you. It's only a weekend, so you know you should be fine either way. Yeah, a lot of a lot of RVs they'll tell you like the the capacity they try to make the tanks, the holding tanks for your water and your mm -hmm. gray and black water. It's, it is usually you know uh, serve a three four person family for a weekend. You yeah. know, so so you can kind of use that as a as a guide and gauge and you know like you, and like you said um just make sure you're using this using it sparingly i think you shouldn't have a problem i like that plan and then for our tent campers because you'll also be uh dry camping and again you bring your own water and your own electricity and you may think how am i gonna bring electricity like what are you talking about lady um lots of cheap options you can bring a generator but if you don't have one that's okay um, you can bring an inverter, which is uh, much cheaper and way more quieter than a generator. Um, and you'll be able to use that again, you know, just like in your everyday house. And it, you probably already have one at home because I know I do. I have a, a battery jump pack um, that I jump off my car with, and that has an electrical socket too. And so that's also multi-use and you can use it now, later, you know, whatever, if you're concerned. And they're, they're, they're not that expensive. Um, and major note is for the electricity, if you really think about it, the only time that you'll use electricity are two, two times, one to charge your phone, which I'm sure everybody has one of these. I just happen to have it. You're, uh, you're already for your phone to charge up. And then the other time is for your air mattress and, you know, any of those power sources we just talked about will more than take care of that. So other than that, if you think about it, you don't really use electricity a lot. For your water, you bring that from home. Um, I just bring my my gallons of water if I were to dry camp <laughs> in a tent. I know Kayla does it all the time and that's what she brings. Um, how, many how many gallons do you, do you normally burn? So it depends. If I'm cooking, then um, you, know, you wanna have enough to cook with and also to wash your dishes with. Um, I don't have a number, but I'm sure Google does. <laughs> Google <laughs> keeps the number, so you get it. And then um, right. <laughs> if you get the meal plan, you don't even, like, you're not cooking. And you have hand sanitizers, so you're good, you know. Um, we do, we will have restrooms. Uh, they have those that they mentioned earlier that are on site. Plus, we will bring in restroom facilities and showers, so you won't need water for that. So you really just have to account for the water that you need while you're cooking. And of course you're drinking water, but you were gonna drink, you were going to bring your drinking water anyway. Right? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, you know, so dry camping really shouldn't be um, much of a, a, a huge impact for people. It sounds scary, but it's not. So yeah, have you guys ever dry camp? Um, <laughs> Your face said, uh-uh. <laughs> well, you know, ha having an RV park is kind of a cheat code, so we, we always plug it up. <laughs> no, so unfair. Yeah. 
I, I do want to add one uh, one detail to, yes, to those renting campers um, or bringing your own camper. You know, want to make sure you put some water into your black tank. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you mention that to the owner, make sure they do that before they deliver it. You know, and make sure you do it before you leave home. Uh, you want to have that that uh, that starter water in the bottom. You know, for the waste going in there, you don't want to stick yes. to. <laughs> you don't you want a big cleanup job on you. you keep yeah. it nice for the owner. Yeah. Nice and simple. So that's good. So yeah. Um, 